Well, it's been a historic week uh, with uh, Barack Obama being sworn in as the first black American president. Uh, now, we understand that Barack is a regular viewer of the Drum Podcast, so we'd like to take this opportunity to wish him all the best for his time in the White House and hope he can still manage to find time in his busy schedule to uh, take a look at every week. Um, speaking of busy weeks, uh, it's been a busy week on the Drum's website. Uh, we started off on Monday with the, the sad news that Twist Communications in Sutton Caulfield uh, was forced to call in the administrators with the loss of around 15 jobs. Uh, but there was some good news for four members of staff there who have moved over to WAA um, in Birmingham. Uh, that includes the managing director. Um, so we hope that all works out for those. Um, also, another mover is uh, Mick Foden over at TVWA in Manchester. Now, in the next issue of the Drum Magazine, we're going to be speaking to um, Robert Howard Matthews, who is the, uh, the uh, managing director over there, who's soon to move on to uh, Los Angeles to uh, work for TBWA out in sunny California. Um, in the next issue, uh, Robert's going to be talking to us about his time in Manchester and what he's learned while working in the regional marketing industry. Um, but another mover from uh, TBWA, as I say, is Mick Foden, who's going to be leaving for personal family reasons. Um, now, he was executive creative director at TBWA, and it's understood he won't be replaced directly. Um, but his uh, joint executive creative director, Richard Sharp, is going to be filling that post. Another mover over in Leeds now is Darren Hawkins. Um, you might remember Darren used to work at Poulter's, um, which closed its doors last year. Now Darren's moved to Gratter Palm in Leeds. Um, there was some speculation at one point that Darren was going to join forces with David Bell and launch their own agency. Clearly the pair have decided against that, and uh, in this current economic climate, that's probably a wise decision. Now if we move north of the border into Scotland, uh, there's strong speculation going around at the moment that the MBO at the Bridge Agency in Glasgow is about to be signed. Um, that uh, move will see uh, the current owners move aside and David Watson and Alan Clark take over the running of that agency. Uh, now we're not sure of all the details, nothing's been confirmed yet, we'll make sure we get all the details onto the Drums website as and when they happen. Um, other news, sad news again in Glasgow, is that uh, GRP has lost the Toyota GB account. Uh, Toyota took the decision to move the business as it consolidates on the back of uh, falling sales. Uh, now we've spoken to Guy Robson over at GRP and he says that unfortunately this is going to lead to up to 15 uh, job losses at the agency. Uh, but he is confident that uh, after 23 years in business, he and his fellow directors have got the experience and the courage to take the difficult decisions uh, to ensure that they make it through the recession um, with a solid base and can start to grow again, hopefully uh, in a year or two's time. Now, you may remember last week we started running the Brian Child Guide to Surviving the Recession video series. Um, the second part of that interview is now on the Drums website, uh, in which Brian uh, advises staff and really speaks about staffing issues that agency bosses should be aware of. Uh, it actually uh, suggests that every agency has 10% too many staff. Here's just a quick look at uh, a part of that uh, video interview with Brian now. It's an interesting uh, phenomenon that uh, it seems to me that over the course of 12 months people kind of creep into the agency. Maybe they come in because somebody's too busy and needs some assistance. Maybe we have an idea of perhaps branching out into a different area of design or retail research, whatever it is. But if you just sit back at the end of the year and inevitably your head count's gone up and inevitably it's usually about 10%. There's usually 10% of the people in the agency that you don't really need. Now, here at the Drum offices yesterday, we held the judging session for the uh, creative part of the Scottish Design Consultancy of the Year. Uh, we had a host of uh, top clients in here from uh, High Highland Spring, Tenants Lager, Bellhaven, S1. We even had Gordon Brown in, uh, in the offices, not the Prime Minister, but Gordon Brown from Circuit Break. Um, it was a great session, lots of debate and interesting uh, discussions went on. Um, after, the, uh, after the judges, and I spoke to a few of the judges and asked them what they thought about the standard and quality of the work that they'd seen, and here's what they had to say about that. I thought the work was either kind of very, very good um, to a high standard in terms of creative thought, how it was presented, to actually very quite functional um, and just quite dry with not a huge amount of sort of creative thought attached to it. Um, I thought some of the Beefeater work uh, was fantastic. Uh, from, it seemed to me they were trying to reposition the products uh, to be a bit more upmarket or to appeal to a new target market, sort of bring new drinkers into the brand. Uh, their sort of handbook was beautifully short and sort of made you think about other ways that you could use gin. 
So uh, there's some really, really nice work. And I, mean, I, I think it kind of just shows the quality of, of design that we have in Scotland. Um, but no, uh, some, some really good work. I, I th we were just talking earlier with other judges about you know, not knowing the brief sometimes. And uh, it's very easy to look at a piece of work and say, I don't like that. But uh, often you're not the audience and uh, actually you don't know what the brief was or what the budget was. But I think generally, very, very good quality, some exceptional pieces. I think it's very easy to criticise any reports. Um, they are, I think, one of the hardest mediums to, to work in. And I think there's some really interesting, uh, I think there's, a, there's a, a publication there, for instance, for, for GHA, which is, which is lovely. Um, but I can imagine some people say, look at all that money they spent on that annual report. And, and it is, I suppose, trying to get over, yeah, but look at the design, look at the quality, look at the way it communicates. And, and that would, it would almost encourage you to pick it up and read it when, when perhaps it might be quite a dry subject. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that, you know, for me, trends, I, people using bastard sizes, th different types of paper and colour and so on, I think just to try and get attention, but some lovely work. My general impressions of the standard of the work was it was very high. Um, it's, it's great for Scotland to see that such a quality of work is available across the board. Um, I noticed trends uh, across the board in terms of uh, use of recycled stock, which is encouraging. Uh, and there's a general trend now towards high quality photography, which probably wasn't prevalent a few years ago. I felt particularly that the stationery for uh, Miss Smith was really strong. Uh, very unusual, haven't seen something like that for a long time. Uh, very ornate, um, 10 out of 10. Uh, if what I've just seen is an indication of the standard of design in Scotland at the moment, I think it's very encouraging. And it shows we're world leaders in this um, discipline. Um, overall impressions were, were good, I guess. Um, I think a lot of variation. Um, some stuff that was fairly poor in comparison, some stuff that was really exceptional. Uh, I was probably a wee bit disappointed with the online category overall. I felt um, just lots of websites and lots of good functional websites, which is important, but at the same time there's just so much more that can be done with digital. I don't think people were exploring um, the boundaries enough. I thought the cat food was totally strong. Is it pur purely or maybe it should be purely? Um, no, it was really good. It always felt like um, <laughs> well, that's it for another drum podcast. I hope you uh, found something of interest in there. Um, as I say, keep uh, do keep on to uh, the drum website during the week because uh, it's updated daily with all the latest breaking news from the media marketing industry right across the UK. Uh, we'll sign off this week uh, by taking a look at the new ad which has been created by Different in Newcastle for One North East. Um, this ad has been um, shot by Alex Telfer, very well known uh, and re renowned photographer and, and film director. Uh, so we'll take a look at that now and uh, we'll see you next week. When does a place become part of you? When its history echoes down to you through the ages? When it offers sanctuary from a restless world? When its wilderness speaks and you understand. When the tempo picks up as the sun goes down. When the locals welcome you like friends. When your spirit soars. When you're in Northeast England.